Carefully washing her bedridden mother's face and using her whole body's force to lift her mother up from the bed to the wheelchair. Simple daily tasks have taken a toll on Miss Xi. As the only child of her family, Xi's father has a slight case of dementia, and a car accident four years ago left her mother disabled. Miss Xi has had to quit her job in the tech industry and become a full-time caretaker for her parents. Taiwan is known as an aging society, and not just Miss Xi, similar cases are found throughout the country. Mr. Yo, who is retired himself, also faces problems when it comes to taking care of the elderly in his family. With the ongoing pandemic, even if you have the ability to hire a foreign caretaker to help, it's difficult to even find one at the moment. Since the borders opened, up until March 21st, the total number of foreign caretakers that have come to Taiwan is 1,053. Upon arrival, they will have to first go through a quarantine period, and then through training. For those looking to hire, not only will it take longer for the foreign caretaker to actually start their jobs, costs for employing one has also multiplied. 一路進,還沒有來我這邊工作,我已經要開始付錢給他了,那假如沒有滿意的話很好,那就來我們這邊開始工作,萬一假如滿意的話,他去住院的費用我們還要去幫他。at around May of last year, totaling up the employment security fee, health insurance costs, overtime pay, agency fees, the basic salary, and the initial fee that needs to be paid to the agency abroad, it would be around 48,244 NT dollars that needs to be paid for the first month. Now fees for the agencies abroad are going up to around 60,000 NT dollars. Salaries increased to around 25,000 NT dollars. Along with the pandemic insurance, self-quarantine and hotel quarantine fees that need to be added on, costs for the initial hiring is going up to 106,194 NT dollars, around double the cost. The market for local Taiwanese caretakers as a result has also grown. 大家都在搶看護,很多看護會認為說這段時間風險實在,風險很高不願意接班,很多看護他也擔心萬一自己染疫了,可能全家的經濟收入來源都斷掉了。With low birth rates and a super aging society, caretaking for the elderly is bound to become a growing issue for the citizens of Taiwan. TVBS English News.